What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon here. Today I will be reviewing with you all the top Pokemon card auctions of the week. We had a lot of variety this week. Uh, we had a dip in certain cards and then we had some exceptional prices in others. So we're going to go over uh, graded cards, lots of graded cards, sealed product. So please stay tuned for all that. Thank you to everybody who watches these week after week. I appreciate it. Thank you for also liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Let's play a little game this week. Let's play a game called which one of these auctions did TTP purchase? Let me know in the comments after you watch this whole video. Let me know which one you think that I had bought this week. So without further ado, let's get right into it here with our first auction. As always, starting out with the modern product first, we have this Charizard V from Champion's Path. This is a secret rare in PSA 10 that sold for $500 even this week, which compared to the past several months, this card being out and about, this price is pretty low. You know, it was over $1,000. It got down to $600, $700. So this week I saw one come by for only $500. I thought that was a lot lower than usual. What do y'all think about that? Keeping along with the Charizard train here, we have the Charizard Rainbow Rare VMAX from uh, Champion's Path as well. This card sold as a PSA 10 for $673. I wanted to touch on that because we're going to compare it to the Black Label BGS 10 version that also sold this week for $5,100. So it's always interesting to see the price disparity between a Black Label BGS card and the PSA 10 version. Quite substantial. Uh, here we have the Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates. This card was suffering the past uh, couple weeks that it's been out. Kept getting lower and lower. $1,900, $800. This week one sold for $1,275. So a little bit of life breathed into the value of this PSA 10 card. Here we have the Charizard Hollow promo from the Team Up. This is the pre-release version. I'm really liking this artwork. This artwork's really growing on me lately. Uh, this card sold in a PWCC Flash auction for $560. Here we had a dip in the Charizard Hollow from Evolutions PSA 10 that this week sold for $3,750. In the past, this card has been selling pretty frequently for about five dollars to $6,000 range. So this week, $3,750 for this card. What do y'all think about that? This is definitely a difficult card to grade from this set. This is the Chase card from Evolutions, and this week, sold for less than $4,000. A couple of McDonald's promos to go over here. We had a Pikachu non-hollow card from the McDonald's collection. PSA 10 sold for $361. And then the hollow version sold for $900 this week. Uh, here, we had a Sobble from the McDonald's collection hollow. Uh, and a PSA 10 sell for $362. Now in the title it says it's a pop one in the PSA 10 pop report, but as of the day of this video that I'm filming, there are actually two PSA 10 examples of this card. Here we have a Torchic Hollow from the McDonald's collection, PSA 10 that sold for $262. We had the special delivery Pikachu sell this week. What's that card been up to? Well this week we had one sell as a Gem Mint 10 uh, for $1,025. Couple of Evolutions boxes to go over. Evolutions sealed product has dipped a little bit this week. It was between $900 and $1,000. This week we had one sell for $870, $830, and $869 for a sealed booster box. Here we had an Absol Prime from uh, the Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant set. Uh, you don't see these Prime cards come through in auction, at least I usually don't, so I wanted to touch on this. This Absol Prime PSA 10 sold for $510. Any of those who are a fan of the Heart Gold Soul Silver series, there you go, there's a card for you. From the XY series, we have this Pikachu EX as a Black Star promo PSA 10 that sold for $471. We had this Full Art Lily Trainer from Ultra Prism. I continually cover this card because the price always astounds me. This week, this card sold as a PSA 10 for $1,351, but this card has gotten all the way up to over $1,500 as a PSA 10. A couple booster boxes here, a couple of vintage booster boxes to go over here before we start getting into our vintage graded cards. We had a Fossil First Edition booster box sell for $14,385 sealed. And then through PWCC, we had a first edition Gym Heroes booster box sell for $15,600. Up next was a Nine Tails. Uh, this is a Topps Chrome Nine Tails. This is a Spectra version, so very rare. According to the title, has a pop of five. Uh, Gem Mint 10 sold for $422. So I like to cover one or two of the 
non-Pokemon TCG cards. This is one of them in the Spectra Nine Tails uh, in PSA 10. All right, we have a couple of Southern Islands cards. Now, some of these prices might not blow your mind. Uh, they might actually be pretty inexpensive compared to all the other cards that we cover in the series, but you gotta love the beautiful artwork of this set. So I wanted to cover a couple of PSA 10s uh, from the set that came by. We have a Tentacruel here, PSA 10 from the Southern Island set, sell for $76. And you gotta love the Dragonite flying in the background. There's so much character to the cards in this set. We had a Butterfree from this set, sells a PSA 10 for $95. We had a Lapras there swimming with a Dratini. Awesome. PSA 10 sold for $155.50. We had an Onyx PSA 10 sell for $123.71. This card has a lot of character. You got Onyx uh, standing there front and center. He looks like he's high or something. You got things flying in the background. You got a Venonat down there, a Pidgeot wing sticking out. Just so much going on in this artwork. Here we have a Jigglypuff from the same set, PSA 10, sold for $143.50. And I think that about finishes up with our Southern Islands cards here. There's definitely some reverse hollow Southern Islands cards that sell for probably thousands of dollars because they're so difficult to grade, but I wanted to cover a couple of the non hollow cards from the set. Here from CGC, we had a first edition base Chansey. This is the CGC 8.5. It looked great. It sold for $877.77. And according to the grades on here, it had perfect centering. Surface got a nine, corners got an eight, and the edges got a nine. So it looks like a pretty strong 8.5 there. So I wanted to cover a CGC card that came by. Uh, speaking of base set first edition, we had a PSA 10 base set first edition Zapdos sell for $9,000 even this week. We had an Alakazam from Legendary Collection. This is a hollow Alakazam, Gem Mint 10 sell for $514. A Dragonite from Fossil, first edition PSA 10, had sold for $6,000 even this week. A Dark Alakazam from Team Rocket set, first edition haul, has sold for $965, which has been about where this card sells for. It usually sells for about this, or maybe a little bit over $1,000, but wanted to cover that this week. Here we have a Dark Charizard Hollow, first edition from Team Rocket. PSA 10 that sold for $5,101 this week. Uh, we had a Dark Raichu Hollow, the very first secret rare card in the English TCG. Uh, PSA 10 sell for $2,150. We had a Rainbow Energy from Team Rocket. First edition PSA 10 sell for $1,800. Now, if you recall last week, this card sold, we had two of these sell for about $3,000 they were averaging last week. This week, $1,800. So. About $1,200 less for this card. What do y'all think about that? It's interesting. We had a lot here of graded first edition Team Rocket cards, all PSA 10 that sold for $8,100. So let's take a look at what we got here. We have Alakazam, Arbok, uh, Blastoise, Doug Trio, a couple Gyarados, Golbat. So I was looking at this set. The only really expensive card here, in my opinion, would be the Dark Blastoise. The rest of them are kind of the lower tier of this of this set. You're not seeing any Dark Charizard, any Dark Raichus, any Dark Dragonites. So I was kind of surprised to see this sell for $8,100. Um, but I guess when you add all these prices up, maybe that's close to about where the value would be. I don't know. Couple shining cards to go over here. We had a Shining Steelix first edition from Neo Destiny. Sells a PSA 10 for $1,627. We had a Shining Mewtwo from the same set. PSA 10 sell for $5,221. And last but not least for the shining cards, we have of course a Shining Charizard PSA 10 sell for $17,900 this week. Here we have a beautiful Gyarados Holographic from Sky Ridge PSA 10 that sold for $2,750. This is my second favorite Gyarados artwork uh, right behind the uh, Shining Gyarados from Neo Revelation set. Very awesome. We had a Kingdra First Edition Holo from Neo Genesis PSA 10 sell for $1,450 this week. Uh, Umbreon, this is a BGS 10 Pristine Umbreon sell in PWCC Flash Auction for $12,900, folks. You do not see uh, Watsy Hollows in BGS 10 come through very often, let alone first edition. So yeah, this car reached nearly $13,000 as a price this week. And last but not least, our auction of the week is this holographic Entei in PSA 10 that went for $16,000 even this week. Uh, probably the best, probably the most valuable card in this set, I think. 
I, I, I can't think of any other car from the set that sold for more than this. Uh, I was kind of curious to know why the one in the first edition there is missing or whited out or something. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but yeah. $16,000 for this first edition Entei from Neo Revelation is the auction of the week. What do y'all think of these auctions? Let me know what card you think I bought this week in the comments below. Thank you for watching folks and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.